I mentioned this briefly in my last video about the number line, but I want to go into a little more detail about integers, decimals, and fractions. Um, the integers are the whole numbers that you see as tick marks on the number line. But in between each of these integers, you have these large spaces um, that you can't, uh, you can't describe with just integers. You have to use other numbers to um, represent the space in between the integers. And to do that, we have decimals and we have fractions. Now, any number between uh, two integers can be represented both as a fraction and as a decimal. Uh, to demonstrate this, I'm just going to um, enlarge essentially this section of the number line right here. So this section of the number line is now going to be represented right here. We have 0 over here and 1 over here. And we have this massive space in between where there are no integers. So to describe this, as I mentioned, we have decimals and we have fractions. I'll describe fractions first. Fraction is essentially a way to divide up this section inside of here into equally spaced um, segments. So if we put one right in the middle, we've cut it in half or into two pieces. Um, so two pieces, so we have a two on the bottom of our fraction. If we just go one of those two pieces, we have one over two, or one half. And that is what uh, this point here is. If we want to go further, we can divide it up into four segments. Now we have four equal segments. If we decide we want to go one, two, three of those segments, <clears throat> we can write this as a fraction with a four on the bottom because there's four parts, and we've gone three of them. So we write this as three-fourths. And so you may notice that if you go two-fourths, that's the same as going one-half. So one-half and two-fourths are the same thing. And so this is kind of the idea of fractions. You divide up the space between the integers into equal parts, and you put that number on the bottom, or the denominator, of the fraction. And then the number of those parts that you're counting is the number on the top of the fraction. Um, and I, I've divided this up into two and then four because that's easy to draw. But you can divide up the space between the integers into as many sections as you like. You can divide it up into three, you can divide it up into five, seven, ten, any number of parts. And that's the number that'll go on the bottom. Um, this provides a good transition into decimals. A decimal is, a decimal representation is essentially dividing up the space between 0 and 1 into 10 different segments. Um, so I'll go ahead and see if I can draw that up a little bit. Um, but so we've got um, 5 from here to here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so you've got the space between 0 and 1 divided up into 10 parts. Um, with decimals, though, instead of saying, um, for instance, instead of writing this as 3 tenths, which is a valid way to write this particular point as a fraction, you would write this as 0 0.3. Uh, because we use the decimal system, every number place to the right of the decimal means you've divided up this space between the two integers into 10 equal parts, and this is how many of the parts we're talking about. So we take the integer immediately beforehand and then count forward three of the ten parts, and that gives us three, uh, 0 0.3, which is the same as three tenths. And so you can, you can take the space between any of these integers. For instance, if you wanted to take the space between three and four and count um, six tenths of the way, from 3 to 4, you would write this as um, 3.6, because you've gone 6 tenths of the way from 3 to 4. And so you can describe any number on the number line 
using um, decimals or fractions. If you want to get even more specific than tenths, you can divide up, for instance, if you wanted to go somewhere in between 0.3 and 0.4, you could divide this space up here into 10 equal parts, and then uh, however many of those parts you went forward from 0.3, you would write that as another decimal here, so 0.3 and however many parts. So that is a, a quick overview of integers, decimals, and fractions. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.